It's probably impossible to sum up what Martin Heidegger thought in a video lasting a few minutes. So I'm probably not going to be able to do that, but I should just go on about him. Um, Martin Heidegger was a 20th century German philosopher who died in 1976. His main work was Being and Time, also known as Sein und Zeit in its original language. Heidegger believed that the problem with Western philosophy and Western thought as such was that it confused being and beings. In other words, it would identify a particular thing as the most important thing about being, such as energy, the idea, the platonic form, or the human individual or the person as the fundamental feature of being and then go on to identify everything about being in that way. This he saw as an ontic approach, that's what he labelled it. In other words, looking at particular things in the world and deciding that they were characteristic of being as such. By contrast, he decided to pursue the Seinsfrage, which is the question of the meaning of being. What he wanted to do was to frame the question of the meaning of being in such a way that it would be meaningful and could be answered in some way. And in order to do that, he decided to attempt to resolve the problem of the confusion between Zayanda and Zayn. More specifically, he identified Dasein as the ground being. Dasein is human life as lived. And the process involved in Dasein involves our temporality, our being towards death, the inevitability of our death, and we are operating in an inauthentic way, a way which probably identifies more with the Zayanda way of looking at things, when we forget about our death, and that we need to give meaning to our lives by recognising their finitude, and by recognising that things have to matter to us. It's no good looking at things in a cold, clinical manner, because that manner is not an authentic manner, and it will fail. Sciences don't have to do this, but there is a temptation within a scientific way of looking at the world to approach things in this way. However, Heidegger accepted the finding of sciences in a particular area, but thought that it was a mistake to make science a total explanation for anything, or anything else a total explanation for anything, if it was going to concentrate on specific entities. So he wanted to get rid of that idea and say that the ground of being as such, Dasein, and lived experience and choice and freedom at any moment is what really matters. And we are very strongly tempted sometimes to opt out of this and to fail to own, basically, experience and the way we live our lives and behave perhaps in what you might call a mechanical manner. And this comes to the fore in particular when things we become aware of the uses of things as opposed to sort of just assuming their existence. One of the things that I feel is weak in Heidegger is that although he did identify Dasein very strongly and he does feel strongly that human being has to matter and you have to care, one of the problems I, he had was that firstly he seemed to prioritise humans over other life forms and other objects in such a way because existence and being and meaninglessness are all significant to them. So you can ask a question about the meaning of your life, what you've done with your life and so forth, and your life is a kind of project through which you live your life. And I don't think it has to be that. And I don't think it makes you a better person if it is that for you, because that somehow sets you above animals and makes them superior, you superior to them. And I don't think that that is the case at all. Um, so if you like this video, please rate, comment, share and subscribe. I will have inevitably misrepresented Heidegger in this because it's almost impossible not to misrepresent him. Um, if you dislike this video, please tell me why so I can improve. 
and I'll see you tomorrow.